Well, what's going on, YouTube? This is What Would Josh Do? And this is the iPad Mini 6. This is the newest release that came out this year. And I need to clean the screen on mine. But this is something I carry with me at all times. So I'm very happy to do this video. So I may have went a little bit crazy on Urban Armor Gear's website. I ordered a screen protector. This is for the uh, iPad Mini 6, obviously. I also ordered... This blue iPad mini 6 gen Metropolis SE. And I'm telling you, I, I made a mistake here. <laughs> I ordered a Lucent black one. And I also ordered a second screen protector because they tend to crack on me. I need to order another one for my iPhone here. And then I ordered this guy, which looks just like this one. Plyo series. And last but not least, I ordered this one. Oh, I didn't even realize that. And the thing, it actually is like a stand. So you can like, oh, so it's the Plyo series. Look at that. So I got two Lucents. I got a black one and a blue one, just in case I like one more than the other. And then I just got one of these. And again, in case I crack a screen protector, I have two of them. First of all, let's get started with um, the cases here. So I've got two Lucents. I got a Metropolis and a Playa. So let's do the ones that are only one each. So this is the Metropolis SE. I'll have a link to all these in the description below. That'll be easy because I literally placed an order for these and I can just grab the links from my email. Okay, so that's super simple to get out. All right, so we've got the case and a little insert there. I work in an auto shop, so my stuff gets a little bit dirty. I'm gonna start closing up these other doors. Yeah. Need to clean that screen. My word. Camera here. The little bump there. All right. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Little magnetic flap there. Nice and satisfying click. And then you've got a spot right there to put your pin. <laughs> Had to go find my pen because I don't ever use it. I'm not a uh, drawer or note taker. Look at that. That's neat. So you think, okay, that's not holding it in there very well. You've got this and you've got this. So look at that. That is pretty freaking neat. That is not coming out. Because it's got these things blocking it from leaving. That's pretty cool. Oh my. And that's super easy to get in and out of there if you want to just... Move that. That's awesome. And let's do like it showed where... Oh, that's freaking sick. That is freaking sick. There we go. I can be at work and watching a... I don't know, someone on Twitch that I follow. Um, or a YouTube video while I'm eating my lunch. And dreading getting back to work. <laughs> That's pretty freaking sweet, dude. I like this one so far. That's also a huge factor. So look, when I put it up there, it charges the pencil. Let's let's just do that one more time here. There we go, we're charging that pencil up while it's docked in the case and it's closed and that pencil's not going anywhere. This one's a win, dude. I like this one. Again, it is the Metropolis SE series. We have a lot to go through here, so let's let's get it out of this one and put it in another one. Oh, I guess before I do that, I should also go over the fact that you have your fingerprint thing that left a nice big indent there to put your finger. Uh, then you got your speaker and microphone grills, and then your volume up and down, your charging port, and then the other speakers and microphone stuff. That's uh, that's pretty cool. All right. <laughs> Let's let's definitely get this in another case here. See how easy or hard it is. Oh, that's pretty easy. I like that one. I've only, I've only tried one, but I like that one so far. This is the Plyo. Or Plyo, Plyo, I don't know. Again, super easy. Just open this little flap, pull out your case. It couldn't be simpler. So let's give this one a shot. What's this one all about? Put our iPad mini in here. Oh, that one already just seems a lot more simpler. You get to see the uh, back of the iPad. So if you're a, you know, you want to show off the fact that you got an Apple logo back there, you totally can. Looks like you've got some uh, spots here. That's probably to hold the back of the 
case up. And it sure is. Look at that. Just holds it right in there. Let's figure this one out. All right, so taking a look, it's the same as the other thing. You got the cutouts of the speakers, the power button, the volume up and down, speakers, charging, and then you got the spot for the pencil. Let's put the pencil in there. Let's see how that is. You know, I don't ever use this thing, but I'm glad I have it, specifically for this demonstration right here. So when we dock the pencil in there, obviously it's charging it, and now the pencil's not going anywhere because, again, we've got little, like, indents here and here. And this, and it's actually, even without those little nubs or indents, it's in there pretty good, actually. So, no worries about that pencil coming out, and it's charging. That is a very simple case. And there you go. You got yourself a little, uh, little kickstand to hold this up. Like that. That one's a little bit quicker, maybe. As far as closing that up, I don't know, maybe. It's nice, I like it so far. Still kinda kinda feeling this one though. I like uh, I like this one. And this one just seems a little bit easier to put it on its kickstand because the bottom here, this is a very nice texture and it makes it really hard for it to slip and fall out of that. Whereas on this one, it's a little bit easier to get it to, um, you know, it, it's just not as stable, I guess you could, call it now oddly enough in the photo you don't see the little flap here so I might be just doing this wrong but it doesn't make sense for it to be this way because then this doesn't have anywhere to rest it only makes sense to have it this way so do you put this behind it or do you leave it in front of it in the photo it's not in front of it it does work once you get it in there it's just not the most secure thing in the world and I might be doing it wrong because in the photo you don't see the uh, little like flappy thing here so okay this one isn't my favorite of the bunch let's move on to the lucent series and let's pull this out of the case here well, let's see if this one's harder or easier nope not hard at all awesome pretty cool i like it but this one still has uh my vote i'm more of a black guy than i am in well <laughs> let me re let me rephrase that uh, I prefer the color black, <laughs> um, but it is nice to sometimes go with something different and a little bit out of the ordinary, and that's why I ordered the blue, which is very interesting, very interesting. Okay, so how do we open? Okay, that's a pretty strong little magnet there. That's actually probably the strongest one, maybe, of all of them. Let's put our iPad mini inside inside this is definitely the most interesting one so far like it's just very like i don't know it's, it's so interesting there we go the ipad mini is inside the case nice blue that's a that is a nice shade of blue i like it and then if you want to charge up that pencil let's put the pencil in there it's got that little slot for it put the pencil in there there we go. And once again, that pencil ain't going anywhere. I don't even... No, you can't even... Tr well, maybe on this side. Okay, if you try hard enough... Oh, actually, no. It physically cannot because of the... Uh, well, that is probably the strongest strongest of the bunch for as far as like... Uh, and maybe it's just the way it's recessed in there. Like, it's like flat. So this is a little bit... There we go. But, uh, this is interesting. So let's try it in dock mode. Okay, so it's just like this one where it's super, like, grippy and easy to, like, it's not going to move out of that spot. Like, that is, I like this better than the way this does it. This is nice. You've got multiple different angles. You can do that, you can do that, or you can do that. That's pretty neat. So, pretty cool, pretty cool. All right, one more time. Let's open it up. We're at work. Let's uh, let's watch us a little, a little Hulu or Netflix or something. Awesome. Got to take a little note, draw something, put our pencil back. Now we're charging it up. That's pretty neat. And let's see how hard it is to take it out of this one real quick so we can 
go ahead and throw it in the black one just see see you know it's the same exact case just see if it's a um different uh i don't know just if it's more appealing or not again they make this super simple just bloop right out nice very nice i keep wanting to grab this and i think that's why it's so challenging for me as i keep wanting to grab this where it's like a hard plastic and you've got to do that so once you get used to it you'll get used to it all right and there is the black one very of course it's the same thing as the blue one just a different color i don't know i like this one stands out for sure i, I think i prefer this one and of course you've got everything you need access to all your stuff looks pretty sharp getting it open is pretty easy we're at work we're on lunch we want to go ahead and watch something real quick let's prop it up boom we got different angles to view it pretty freaking slick so out of all these just the way the kickstand is on this one this one's my least favorite other than that it's got the nice clear front here or back to show you the apple logo it's a little bit simpler of a design to get it all open and closed but if you're going to use it as a kickstand to watch stuff it will work i just don't like the way it's designed Whereas with these, it couldn't be simpler. You just open it up, plops down, and there's no weight now. So, But this is like a very grippy texture here, and it holds it very well. I don't know. I don't know. It's between these two for me. I'll have to play with both of these and decide which one I like the most. I feel like this one maybe looks a little bit more professional. But I do like this one too. I don't know. It's a hard choice. Hopefully this video helps you decide which one is for you because uh, I believe I do have all of the choices available for the iPad Mini 6 2021 edition. I don't know, I'm going to spend a couple days with each and decide which one I like more, but that's just so nice. I just love that. I think I like the, this design better than the other one. I definitely feel like maybe this one's going to be like a little tougher as far as I really like the bumper edges. This one still has it, but it's like a little bit hard. Like, I don't know, just something about this one. This one just feels like maybe it would be a little bit tougher for a drop. Maybe. I don't know. All right. Last but not least, that screen protector. Let's check that out. So we've got this little gadget here, whatever that's for. Got a little cleaning cloth there. We have some instructions. Place the apple. Oh, it's an applicator. App app applicator. <laughs> and then we have the screen protector here. Very nice. Also, I carry this in my pocket all the time. So I guess it'll be also a toss up between does this fit in my pocket better? Does this one fit in my pocket better? Or does the other one fit in my pocket better? Because... While this one may not have the best kickstand design, it does work. It just depends on which one fits in my pocket better. So this like doohickey top, it goes in here and then that goes on the top. You'll want to take it out of the case to do it. You can tell the little notch there for that little camera. Awesome. I'm going to put this on off camera, but uh, definitely consider getting a screen protector. That could not have been simpler. So I put this on it. I peeled the back layer off as the instruction said. I sat it down. I removed this and it was the coolest thing ever. It just glided over the whole screen. And I have not even like had to remove any bubbles. It is just absolutely gorgeous. It is so nice. Way to make a process so simple. Holy cow. Thank you, UAG. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. Again, links to everything you're seeing will be in the description below this video. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Consider checking out any of my other videos, such as the unboxing of this guy. This is what Josh do, and I'm out.